Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. And this is floss tube number 59. Yes, it is. I've been playing around with the lighting a little bit better. I think it's just because I need lighting behind me. I am not sure. I have an at light up above and I have an LED round light that's for um, using a camera in between. I tried to put it over the laptop. This is the best I can do. So let's get started. I have a little bit of haul. I have whips. Um, what I'm working on at the moment and the next two things that I will be working on. Um, and I will talk about two stitch alongs getting ready to start. And I even am going to show you a year long stitch along that I'm going to do on the channel for next year and the only reason I'm doing that is for people who don't have the money to buy it right now you have all this year to buy the fabric the pattern and all the floss because it is a hade has a lot of colors so let's get started what's new with everybody I have been stitching and stitching and stitching um, the other thing that's new, last week Friday, my mom called me, said, what you doing? And I said, just hanging out. Um, I forgot what I had planned to do last Friday. It did not happen. Um, my mom said there's been a stray kitten hanging around her house for a couple of days and she can't get him to eat. He's very lovey. She said her dog goes out. It runs against up by her dog. It rubs up on the dog's leg. She says, I think it's only three months old. So she says, will you take it? And cause she knows that Scott and I take in strays and um, we always give them a good home. Strays show up on my doorstep Every once in a great while, we take them in. They become a great pet. My mom says that God sends them to us because he knows that they'll be spoiled rotten. So, I said, I don't know. It's going to be a hard sell for Scott. We had discussed we didn't want any more cats right now. We have two. We're used to having five all the time. But we like it down to two. And we really didn't want to get any more kittens. We wanted to adopt adult cats because people want kittens and they don't want to adopt the adult cats. So I thought it would be a hard sell. So Scott came home, I explained the situation, and he said, well, get it. I said, well, we were planning on going tomorrow. Do you want me to get it today? And he said, yes, get it today. You know, let's see what's wrong with it. So... I go to my mom's and it's on the porch and I, it greets me and I'm petting it and I'm looking at it. I go, mom, this kitten's really sick. It's got a cold or allergies. Something's going on. It's got goop coming out of its nose and out of its eyes. And it's just bones. It, it hadn't eaten in a long time. I mean, you could see its ribs, the back and you know how by their back legs, it's all sunk in and like... So I call Scott and I explain the situation and he's getting ready to go to work in a couple hours. So he's like, well, call the vet, see if you can get him in this afternoon. So this is like 1.30, I call the vet and they said, yes, you can bring him in at 3.20. I said, okay, so I told mom, I says, well, I already had food in the car because I knew I was gonna have to get him food and if I'm gonna go get him food, I'm gonna get groceries. So I told mom, well, I can't stick around. I'm going to take him home, unload my car, and by the time I get groceries put away, it'll be time to take him to the vet, which is only like 10 minutes from my house. So I took him home. I showed Scott. Scott's looking him all over. Scott goes, he has an upper respiratory infection. I can hear it. And I said, okay. And yeah, he definitely needs to eat. So 320, I take him to the vet. The vets check them all over. Um, they used the flea comb, saw some flea dirt on him. Um, they're worried that he has worms, so that they're giving him a topical um, 
it's a flea and all parasites drop on the between the shoulder blades so they said it takes care of the fleas the ticks and all parasites if he has worms it'll kill the worms and i said okay let's do this so then they checked him all over he has an upper respiratory infection and we're gonna put him on antibiotics he gets one dose every five days and then after that or yeah one dose each day for five days and then after that every three days for six weeks so he got the first five doses and then today's the first time he'll get it again since tuesday it'll be the third day and then he'll get it again on monday wednesday is his next checkup appointment so um I will get more medication because they said I'm going to need more anyways. So I should have, I know I have enough for today. There should be enough in that bottle for Monday and then I'll get, just get more on Wednesday. Well, Tuesday by, t let's see, let's go back. By Saturday afternoon, I still had not gotten him to eat or drink water. Nothing. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, and I'm supposed to keep him in the bathroom while we're taking showers for the steam. I also have to keep him away from all the other animals, so he stays in my bedroom. By Saturday afternoon, he still wasn't eating, so I messaged Scott. He was working at Tractor Supply, and I said, while you're there, pick up, like, a medicine dropper or a a bottle like a little baby bottle or something and kitten milk because I got to get nutrients in this kitten so Scott brought that home it's it's for baby animals it's a little bottle and so I mixed up the kitten formula it's like baby formula but it's for kittens mixed that up took the bottle in I I had to fight him I yeah I got some in him Sunday we got quite a bit in him Monday we got quite a bit in them, still not eating cat food or drinking water. Tuesday morning, the vet calls to check on him. I told them he's still not eating, he's still not drinking water, but he's guzzling down now the bottles of the baby, of the kitten formula. So they want to see him tomorrow. Great. I don't have the money for this. We're broke. I spent 200 on Friday, and now they want to see him tomorrow which was this past Wednesday. Plus, he has next Wednesday's appointment for a checkup. Tuesday afternoon, I go in and I'm going, I'm going to force feed this kitten and see what happens. So I took the dry food, put a couple pieces on the tip of my finger, shoved them in his mouth, he crunched them, ate them. I scooped up some canned cat food, did the same thing, he gobbled that. It, but he still wouldn't go to the plate. So I kept lowering my hand lower and lower to the plate until he was eaten off the plate and I pulled my hand away. And since then, he has been a little pig. And drinking his water. Perfect. I called the vet and canceled what this past Wednesday's appointment. I don't need him to be seen. He is now eating He's starting to put on weight. You don't see his ribs anymore. That concave by his back legs, that's almost filled up. He's amazing. He still is congested. Um, his eyes didn't have gunk yesterday, but they're watery. So I think the infection's starting to clear up a little bit. But I still can't let him around my other animals until um, his eyes clear up. So he's still in the bedroom. And now my new thing is litter box. He's not using the litter box. He keeps pooping and peeing in one little corner in my bedroom. Good thing it's one little section. I can keep cleaning it. I keep putting his poop into the litter box so he knows that's where he's supposed to go. I keep putting him in there, scratching his paws. So that might take a few more days, but at least he's eating and drinking water. Um, Scott and everybody said to keep giving him the kitten formula. So I made up a bowl of that yesterday. He drinks some, not much. He'd rather have the water and the cat food. That's okay. I'll just keep making up until the formula is gone as long as he drinks some of it. So that's what's been going on. I haven't left the house because I've been taking care of him. 
every couple hours I would go in with a wet warm washcloth to wipe his nose and his eyes um, he st he was he had a lot of junk on his chin especially from the baby formula it was sticky and it just left some crusty stuff on his chin so yesterday I went in and scrubbed the chin with the wet washcloth got that stuff all off he's starting to look really good he is the most affectionate kitten he's all over me just and if I go to bed he comes with me um he'll lay with me for a little bit and then he's gone for the night he'll go do whatever but yeah, he's he's doing amazing. He's his name is Zoomer. Most of the time, if I get a chance to name the cats if they don't didn't already have a name, I go by TV characters or movie characters. Always have, don't know why. It was just a habit I started with the first kitten we got when Scott and I lived moved here. So I was telling them in Zoom, and they said, well, we're like a TV screen, and we're all a bunch of characters. So his name is Zoomer. Yes, Zoomer. I like it. Anyways, now on to Floss Tube. I had to tell you what was going on. So, and Sunday is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is, you know, is Sunday. And Sunday I do Twitch Live from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I knew I would be busy Sunday, so I'm going to go visit her today. I can't tomorrow because um, I'm doing a Zoom for the coloring. Whoever wants to color with me all day long. So I couldn't um, go visit them tomorrow, but I will today. Okay, I got to my last package from Fortnite Fabrics. I did have to cancel my Fortnite Fabric subscription and my Grace Notes Fabrics um, subscription because of finances. So they both understood, you know, I had no issues with them. Um, it, it had nothing to do with their subscriptions. I love their fabrics. But this is the last one for Fortnite. I don't get, have any more coming from Grace Notes either. This one is called Enchanted. It's 28 count Lugana and it's a quarter yard. Look at that pretty color. Some what? Grays and yellows. So pretty. Actually... Hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking of stitching one thing on here. But yeah, isn't that pretty? This is folded in half. It's easier for you to see it. But yeah, love their fabric. But I have a lot. I have a stockpile of Fortnite and Grace Notes fabric. So it's not like I don't have any. I'm good. I am starting to try to appreciate, well, I do appreciate all my craft and stuff I have. I'm trying now to really concentrate on using what I have. Once in a while, am I going to buy something? Well, of course, if I have the money. Especially patterns. Because sometimes they go out of print. If there is a pattern that you desperately want, don't put it off. I love... Sheena Pike and she was with Heaven and Earth Designs well they retired her she is on another website now but I don't know if they have all of hers like they did on Haid but um yeah buy the patterns because they do get um retired this just came out. I had to have it when I saw it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to make sure it wasn't one of my boys. Um, I am new to Bella Filipina. I do have two of their patterns. This just came out. I had to have it. There was a reason I've been holding on to my Visa gift card that I got for Christmas. I kept holding on to it and holding on to it. I don't know why. And I kept saying, 
I'll wait till there's something I really want. Well, I really, really wanted this. And all of a sudden, our finances kind of plummeted. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, I'll use my gift card. So I got Greta Goldbroom. Greta Goldbroom. Look at that. I love it. She's going to be a new start next year. Yep. She is because I want to do a Bella Filipina and this is going to be the first one I work on and I know I have dark fabric. I thought about the fabric I just showed you that's enchanted. I may use that. I will have to put the floss on top of that fabric and see if it goes okay with it. But yeah, Bella Filipina. So this little pile I'm showing you now I got from 123 Stitch just because the website I want to order from did not have this so I used my gift card on 123 Stitch. They're my second go-to. I also got because I thought my gift card was only for 25 but it was for 50. So I ended up getting Shannon Christine's Loads of Love. Love this one. Oh my gosh look at the truck. Uh-huh. Yes gotta do this next year too. And then since I'm doing Spooky Gate by Mill Hill, they had the frame to go with it. So I'm like, well, I might as well get the frame because I started stitching it. So, yeah. So I got the frame. There's that. New stitch alongs coming up. If you guys liked the Cryptid Stitch Lawn by the Witchy Stitcher, she is now doing a Supernatural stitch along. It is not based on the TV show Supernatural. It has to do with, um, she told on here, like witches and werewolves and stuff like that for Supernatural. It starts June 1st. We get the frame for it. I get to start this because Cryptid stitch along was finished in January. I have not replaced that because I'm doing the No New Starts 22, and but I'm doing the Work Your Whip. So when I finish something, I can start something of the same size or smaller. Well, this is supposed to be the same size as Cryptids. So I can put this in the place of the Cryptids. But yeah, we get January 1st, we get the frame to cross stitch. And then every Friday we get a creature until November 18th is the last creature. We do get a week off the last Friday of every month. Um, yeah. The last Friday of every month we get a week off. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this. So I will be doing that. And then, of course, Shannon Christine had to come out with a stitch along called Summer Goodies. And I've seen this on black. I'm doing this on black fabric. And this dart date is May 21st. It is on her website. Also, there is a Facebook group just for this. It's called a start along. She calls it a start along. It starts May 21st. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I saw this on black fabric because she showed it. I absolutely love it on the black fabric. So that's what I'm doing mine on is the black fabric. Oh my gosh. Look at the ice cream. Look at all the little goodies and the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck. Remember those? I don't get them here. I live way out in the country. We don't get the ice cream trucks. I would like a, a wine truck or a margarita truck, but yeah, that ain't happening either. <laughs> okay, so the stitch along that I want to do next year, I bought this chart at the beginning of this year because of Stitch Man Darcy. It was the first time watching him. My friend Danielle told me, you got to watch Stitch Man Darcy at at minute number whatever whatever minute it was she goes this is so you yeah so i watched stitch man darcy for the first time saw this pattern and like oh i got to buy it 
Well, the other day I was thinking about a stitch along. So I was talking to Craft and Journey, who is Rebecca, and she said, count her in two. So we are going to do Chessie. This is going to be the stitch along on my channel next year. It's Chessie. It's a heaven and earth design. And the artwork is by Ash Evans. Loving it. So the only reason I'm telling you this now is so you have time to go buy the pattern, the fabric, and all the floss. It has, I thought it told on the front cover how many colors there are. Hold on, I will tell you how many colors, but I thought it told on the front. Do, 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 do. Why isn't it telling me? How many colors? Size, size, but not how many colors? What? Did I count them? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. It'll be much easier for me to just go on Heaven and Earth Designs. It might tell on there. We're going to look. Chessy. Whoops. Chessy has search. Does it tell on their website? Finished design, 25 counts. Floss usage chart. Still doesn't say, hold on. I should have just counted. And then I'm going to write it on here. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't say how many colors. Most of their stuff tells how many colors. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of colors, though. Let me see. One, two, Fifty. 50 colors. I'm going to write that down. 50 colors. So, not too bad. Not too bad. <clears throat> but, yep, yeah, we're going to start that next year. Probably January 1st. I just want, I know this is only May, we still have a long ways to go, but, and if you've already started it, you can also do a whip. If it's a whip, you can count it. It doesn't have to be a new start, but um, I won't be starting it on my channel till then. But yes, you can count a whip. It does not have to be a new start. It encourages people to get theirs done. Okay, are you ready for the whips? Since I wasted all this time already. <laughs> so, I was working on the Owl Beaded Kit. 
Right now, we do not know if these will be available again because they come from the UK. That's what I was told. So, um, unfortunately, we can't get them right now. I'm still on page one. I do have that much done. It is a full coverage, just beads. There is no cross stitching whatsoever. The kit was like $190. It includes the fabric, three spools of beading thread, two needles, all the beads you need, plus you get the containers to put the beads in. The containers already had the labels on them of the of the number of the bead and the symbol. You just had to put the beads in them. And there's still tons of beads. I mean, there's enough beads in here. These are very uniformed. I have not, I don't think I've had any trash. They're high quality beads. They're not cheap beads, which is why the kit was so expensive. But I love working on this. It is so much fun. Then there is a group of us. We have a Facebook Messenger chat. We are doing Spooky Gate by Mill Hill. Spooky Gate. Isn't that cute? This is done on black perforated paper. If you don't like working on perforated paper, you can always do it on fabric. But it comes with a little cat button. It comes with all your fabric. It comes with your floss. It comes with a needle. And um, I started a little bit of it with just the black. I don't know if you could see that. But yep, I started it. And we're going to do a Zoom like two Fridays or two Saturdays a month and work on it together. You don't have to. You can work on it whenever you want. But I got to start it because I finished an ornament last month and it's the same size. Um, it's a small, so I got to start it. I can't share it on my No New Starts until I get 200 stitches on it. I worked on my Hay to Fly Butterfly. Yeah, I worked on it for two to almost two full days. I got two columns done. I have three and a half columns done or to do. That's it. I'm Fly Butterfly. So, yeah, I did this column and this column. I finished them. Well, this column had some done. I finished it and started that. So I just have three and a half columns left because it just goes to this. It doesn't go all the way over. But yeah, and that's on 25 count fabric. One strand, full crosses. And it's one strand over one, full crosses, 25 count. But yeah, she's, uh, I started this in 2009. It is a Hade. King Chow Kewick is the artist. It was a freebie for a stitch along to celebrate Fairy Day. Yep. Whipco numbers were drawn on the 25th, I believe, of April. So April 1st, I pulled out number 14 was Luna by Nora Corbett. My goal was to stitch a quarter of the pattern. And that took me like one day, two days. They are very quick. So here's Luna. I also have the bead pack to go with it. So I love, I love this. I love the colors. And those greens on in the wing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm doing it on 
Silk Weavers, 28 count Lugana Opalescent, and the color is called Inferno. It's perfect on this, but these wings. Now the only thing I did not add were the beads. The I wait till all my cross stitching and back stitching is done, and then I will add the beads. But the quarter of it I finished also has the back stitching on it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So I did all the black first. And then I added in the rest of the colors. But look at that shimmer. That is so... I love this color fabric. But that, yeah... Loving it. So I did do the back stitching, and then when this whole thing is done, I will add the beads. Uh, yeah, I think that it took. Oh, I've got the hiccups. I'm sorry. I believe it took me one day, one full day, maybe two days to stitch that. Um, and I'll tell you some of my stitching plans coming up because I want to finish it. And then the other, there were three numbers picked for Wicko. Number 13, which is your free space. You don't have to stitch anything in that, so I left it free. So that was number 14. Number 8 was my, um, I can never remember the name. Hold on. So number 8 was Alessandra's Adelaide Needleworks, the butterfly. I am doing the butterfly in all white. I'm using B5200. I started this back in 2013. I am doing this on 32 count Lugana opalescent and the color is Fiesta Pink. I hope that it shows how pink this really is because when I took pictures, it looked more red. My goal was to finish the left wing I had quite a bit. I only had a quarter. Well, so I had the top right wing done. And I had quite a bit of the top of the left wing. And then I had to do the bottom wing. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. It's like lace work. It is so pretty. Yeah. But this and the... Opalescence not even showing on camera. Like it is very shimmery. But the pink is pretty pink, what's sh showing on my uh, computer screen. But, yep. So this took two days, I think. Two days, maybe three to do that. So this is only going to take me two to three days to do that part. So this is also going in my stack for finishes this year. Okay. Now what's next? Oh. First I'll show you what I'm working on right now. So. This is a stitch along in a Facebook group. Um, Halloween cross stitch challenges something like that so we are doing happy halloween by doreen jones and it's funny because i started this in december for part of this year's no new start and then in january people were showing this pattern and saying they wanted to stitch it so we decided to do a, a stitch along so um my goal was, and it started March 1st. So March and April, I did, there's eight pages to this pattern. So March and April, I did one and a half pages. So three pages were done by the end of April. May is to do page four, which is this one here, page four. And then June and July will be, each will have to do one and a half pages. And then August will be the last page yeah, right here. So um, it, it runs from March 1st to August 31st. And I am on the fourth page just like I wanted to be. 
So that's what I have done. So yesterday I did all of this black here to here and then the bats and then this is part of her hair like it is over here. But And I don't know what the fabric is. It is an even weave. I'm not sure of the count. It's either 28 or 32. But yeah, that, that's all there is of this is page four. This is page four. So we had page one, two, and three. So yeah, I'm working on this for the weekend until I get this part done. And then I will pull out my lawn dog sampler. <clears throat> and I will stitch on this for one or two days. I and this is my stitch along on this channel and it's all I also have a Facebook group. The description and the link is down below for the Facebook group. Um, Lawn Dog Samplers, Quanto Acuto, The Pointed Fifth. This is the one I'm doing. There is so many little creatures. There are rabbits and pigs and dogs and ducks and peacocks and lions and spiders and crabs and birds and dragons. Anything you can think of is in here. So I am doing mine on 28 Count Lugana. The color is Gingerbread. It's by Picture This Plus. I am doing it all in black. And I finished page one and page two. I believe I, I'm on page three, I believe. So I, yeah, I finished page two last month and started, and I'll be starting page three. But yeah, that's how much I got done. So I am liking how this is coming out. I love this. It is, I just want to keep stitching on it. There is hardly any back stitching. There is some like um, these lines all in here, in this here. Those That's back stitching, very simple. There was a little bit of black stitching like on the bones with the dog. And if it's on the black, then you just use white thread. But, yeah, I love this pattern. Absolutely love it. And then for this month, I will be finishing the Patriotic Gnome with Glasses. I was going to take a month off. But I really want to do that summer goodies stitch along and it's and it's a medium and that's what this is. This is a medium. So I have to finish this in order to start that. And I'm almost done. I usually stitch a gnome until it's done, but I've been doing a gnome every month and by last month I'm like I was getting burnt out. So I he's almost done. I have a quarter left. And I still have to do the back stitching on this part. The top part's all done, even the back stitching. So I still have to do the back stitching on this quarter of it and then stitch and back stitch this quarter. So it might take me two to three days to do all that. Three, four. So this is, I need to get this done this coming week so that I can start that Shannon Christine. So that's what's going on for my floss tube, I, everything that I'm doing. And then when the gnome is done, what's next? Where's my planner? So this is my project planner. So when the gnome is done, I will go back to my hate that's magic study because that's a stitch along the pumpkin patch is a stitch along so i'm i'm trying to fit in all my stitch alongs first once they are done i will go back to my list of things that i want to work on so after that is that owl beaded cross stitch kit i usually work on it one whole day giggles in the snow the boy 
I want him done in the next couple months. I will work on him for a full day. That Hayde Fly Butterfly, I will be working on that for a whole day. The Rovaris Halloween piece that I was working on, I did not get to that in April. I'm hoping to get to that this month. I also have the Ink Circle Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. I want to get to that this month. So if I don't, that's okay as long as I get to my stitch alongs and I get to work on them. Um, yeah, so the Supernatural doesn't start until June 1st, so I have plenty of time for that. Um, May 21st is the goodies. I still have plenty of time. That's 15 days from today. I have plenty of time to get the, um, the gnome done. Plenty of time. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, my new thing I want to do, it came to my mind yesterday or the day before. I think I want to do a finish it July. So, I want to finish Giggles in the Snow. If my Mill Hill Spooky Gate isn't done, I want to finish that. What else? Oh, I want to finish the Butterfly and I want to finish Luna. So those are my goals for July um, in between working on the cryptids. If I don't, and, and I'll, you know, I'll put, I still will want to work on my lawn dog sampler. I have to work on the Happy Halloween. But my focus is to finish the Giggles in the Snow, the Butterfly, and Luna. So if I could finish those three in July, I will be happy. So, yeah, and the Hayde Fly Butterfly, if I work on it this month, next month, that could be a possibility to finish that in July also. Yes, we're getting there. We're getting there with some more finishes. And not just smalls. So, that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you are new to my channel, please click the like button and subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when I put up a new one. I try to put up a floss tube every week. It doesn't always happen. Depends on how much stitching I've gotten done or to show. Um, the last either Tuesday or Thursday of the month, I do a floss tube live on my channel. I do a stitch with me every Sunday on Twitch from one or 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have the camera down really close to my stitching and we just chat about anything while I stitch away. That's what I do over there. I am trying to fit in another day during the week. I'm trying to figure out a time that will work for me. Um, yeah. That's what's going on. So, welcome back if you are a previous subscriber and you've been following me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. You all have a stitchy weekend. Love you guys. Bye-bye.